Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Google has opened a software developer internship for 2026 in India and this opportunity can completely change your tech career. Don't skip this video and watch till end. So in this video, I'll explain about what is this Google internship about, what you should do as an intern and why this opportunity is so special and finally who can apply for this role. Before proceeding, if you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I post the videos related to tech updates, job updates, internship updates and free courses. So do check out my videos and don't forget to hit the notification bell in order to get the latest updates. So firstly, what is this Google internship about? So the role which you get in this Google internship is Associate Software Developer Intern. In the company as we already know, it's Google and internship type is summer internship duration 10 to 12 weeks means basically this internship period is of 3 months or less than 3 months and the start period is May 2026 locations of Bangalore, Hyderabad, Pune. Next, what will you do as a Google intern? So as a Google intern, you will work on real development projects, collaborate with Google engineers, learn industry level coding practices, attend technical talks by Googlers, gain exposure to Google tools and workflows. Next, why this internship is a big deal? Google brand value on your resume, strong mentorship from Google engineers, hands-on experience, not just theory, boost chances for future tech roles, great learning plus networking opportunity. Next, what are the documents you need? Updated resume or CV, latest academic transcript, Latest academic transcript means suppose if you are in second year then you need to have your first year's mark sheet. Okay. Next the work locations as you already know it's Bangalore, Hyderabad, Pune. You can choose your preferred location while applying. Now coming to the eligibility or preferred qualifications. You must be currently enrolled in a full time degree program and returning to the program after the completion of the internship means you, you should return from the internship to your institute those students can participate in this so mostly second year students will be able to participate in this and ability to complete a full time 10 to 12 week internship between may and august 2026 exact program dates will be provided at a later point in this process and you must have excellent programming skills on C++, Java, Python, anything is okay, you should have programming knowledge, any one language is okay. So here they clearly mention that this internship is intended for second year students who are pursuing an engineering degree program in computer science or a related field. So my final advice, start preparing your resume early, focus on coding and problem solving, apply as soon as applications open don't miss such rare google opportunity now let's see how to apply for this internship just click on apply button so you will be redirected to this page here you need to give the details choose the preferred location you can choose anything then work authorization we are committed to equal employment opportunity regardless of race color ancestry religion sex national origin sexual orientation Age, citizenship, marital status, disability, gender identity or veteran status. Are you legally eligible to work in a country of employment? If yes, you can select yes. If no, no. Do you currently need or will you someday require Google to sponsor work authorization for you? What you want, you can choose here. Then save and next. First you need to like prefer location you need to select here. Then you need to tick the additional locations. Then click on next. Now voluntary self identification. You need to select your gender here. Please indicate your race. You can tick what you are. If you don't want to disclose then you can choose that. Please indicate your disability status. So if you don't have any disability you can click on no. Please indicate if you are currently serving in a military or have served in the past. Then click Check this box. I consent to the processing of my self identification. Click next. So we are in this step. We are in this step. After applying, like after filling your personal details, you can just click on apply. You can click this. 
if you already applied before this you can just edit like your some of the personal information like your resumes and all you can click on edit and you will be able to edit it after filling your personal details and after checking everything you can you can just take this and and then click on apply you'll be able to apply it so here you can view your application so that's all for today's video if you have any doubts regarding this video or any other videos from my channel you can just drop them in the comment box i'll surely reply to everyone and for latest updates don't forget to subscribe to my channel so see you in next video till then keep learning bye bye